High blood pressure can be caused by dehydration. In dehydration, little capillary networks shut down to try and conserve full blood volume that builds up pressure. High blood pressure can be caused by no salt. High blood pressure can be caused by table salt. High blood pressure can be caused by no greens. No greens, no magnesium, water can't get in. High blood pressure can be caused by no sun. But when someone's not eating enough fruits and vegetables, and that's where you get most of your potassium, and they're putting table salt on everything far too much, what happens now is sodium levels rise and potassium levels drop. So now sodium levels inside the cell are rising, which they should not, and the cell swells. What's that called? High blood pressure. And because magnesium is a water hungry molecule, it can be used to help the water get into the cell. So when someone's on a fat free diet, have you noticed they eat all day long? They're hungry all day long? So they're e eating too many carbohydrates, because isn't that your quick food? There's your quick food, all the carbohydrates. So they're wearing out their pancreas now the pancreas isn't releasing insulin and the glucose can't get into the cell. See, this, that's why I call this the CBD, the central business district of the human body. Hawthorn berry strengthens the heart. In fact, if the blood pressure's low, it'll bring it up. If it's high, it'll bring it down. Whatever your heart needs to do, it will work with that. We have all been told to cut back on salt to manage high blood pressure. But what if I told you that salt isn't the real enemy? Barbara O'Neill's mind-blowing discoveries about high blood pressure and its triggers will leave you questioning everything you know about blood pressure. Watch this video until the end to uncover Barbara O'Neill's groundbreaking facts about high blood pressure and how to control it naturally. Risks of high blood pressure. High blood pressure, or hypertension, if left untreated, can cause a lot of serious health conditions like heart attack, kidney disease, or stroke. Having almost no symptoms, high blood pressure can silently attack your heart and leave you defenseless. According to the CDC, about 45% of US adults have hypertension, but many are unaware of it until they experience severe health consequences. While many doctors claim that high blood pressure is caused by high salt intake, this is not entirely true. Today, salt is highly industrialized and processed, making it a poor choice for a healthy lifestyle. The processing and industrialization rob it of essential nutrients and minerals leaving it with only sodium and chloride. Instead, using natural sea salt, Celtic salt, or Himalayan salt is necessary to maintain your blood pressure, according to Barbara O'Neill's discoveries. But that's not the only reason. There are a variety of factors that contribute to high blood pressure. Table salt has two minerals. Yes, it is true that table salt will help the blood pressure to go up because it causes a mineral imbalance in and out of the cell. Barbara O'Neill has made a shocking discovery about the real reason behind high blood pressure that even doctors don't know of or don't want to share with the public. But Barbara O'Neill didn't hold back from unveiling these secrets to help you live a healthy and risk-free life. According to her, high blood pressure can be caused by dehydration, mineral imbalance, vitamin D deficiency, lack of natural salt and exercise, a low-fat diet, and insulin issues. So the body looks at this, the water can't get in, the minerals can't get in, the glucose can't get in. And so now the body says, well, looks like we're gonna have to do our last resort. Let's just force it into the cell. What's that called? High blood pressure. This is all thanks to Barbara O'Neill, who not only revealed these secrets about high blood pressure, but also discussed how we can cure it naturally. Before we dive deep into the natural cures, let's explore the reasons behind high blood pressure in detail. When your body doesn't get enough water, or according to its requirements, your blood thickens, resulting in fluctuations in blood pressure. It also leads to vasopressin secretion. Vasopressin is a hormone that is released when there is an excessive amount of sodium in the blood. If there is a high amount of vasopressin, your blood vessels can get compressed, resulting in high blood pressure. This occurs only when you don't drink enough water. Barbara O'Neill says when you lose too much fluid, and don't drink water to compensate for it, your body starts drawing out water from the cells, causing them to shrink. This condition can lead to chronic conditions like high blood pressure and insulin resistance. 
She says maintaining cellular hydration is important to prevent high blood pressure. You should drink at least eight glasses of water daily to ensure stable blood pressure and dodge any risks associated with it. The second reason you might experience high blood pressure is mineral imbalance. O'Neill says minerals are inorganic nutrients and are as important as vitamins for various body functions. You can obtain minerals by eating a healthy diet. Some minerals like magnesium, potassium, and calcium are vital for maintaining good heart health and blood pressure. Magnesium controls many body functions and helps in the production of nitric oxide, which relaxes blood vessel pressure. Potassium, on the other hand, helps in muscle work, including the cardiac muscle of the heart. Similar to magnesium, it can also help relax your blood vessels. As per NIH, low levels of potassium in the body can cause high blood pressure. Moreover, in the presence of high sodium levels, the impact of low potassium on blood pressure becomes stronger. In this case, you can add magnesium and potassium rich foods to your diet, like dark green leafy vegetables, potatoes, yams, carrots, bananas, apples, avocados, and legumes. Where do they get their minerals for their bones from? Dark green leafy vegetables. We should eat dark green leafy vegetables every day. And you do not lose your minerals when you cook your vegetables. You will only lose your minerals if you cook your vegetables in water and throw the water away. There's all your minerals. While you might think that calcium's benefits are limited to bone health, they go beyond that. Calcium has important tasks to execute within your body. It helps regulate blood pressure by supporting the constriction and relaxation of blood vessels. Calcium can be taken through calcium-rich foods in your diet, such as leafy greens, almonds, winter squash, canned sardines, and others. Another related reason, according to Barbara O'Neill, is the lack of vitamin D in the body. Vitamin D helps in the absorption and assimilation of key nutrients, like calcium, magnesium, and others. Without vitamin D, calcium and other minerals can't effectively enter into the cells. Barbara O'Neill says anyone can take vitamin D easily through sunlight exposure. Many people avoid sunlight exposure, sometimes out of laziness and other times on their doctor's advice, which can be harmful to their bodies. Ensure that you spend some time in the sun and your body will be thankful for the vitamin D. The cause of high blood pressure can be a vitamin D deficiency. How so? Well, calcium is a very important mineral. And calcium cannot get into the cell by itself. Calcium needs vitamin D. And when vitamin D is present, calcium is pulled into the cell. And when calcium is pulled into the cell, all the other minerals piggyback on the back of calcium. And this is why calcium is called the king. People suffering from blood pressure conditions are often advised to adopt a low-fat diet by their doctors. But Barbara O'Neill says choosing a low-fat diet is the worst thing you could do to your body. When you exclude fats from your diet, you start to feel more hungry, resulting in more carbohydrate intake, which in turn stresses out your pancreas and negatively affects your insulin resistance. The claim that cutting out fats and cholesterol can save you from heart attack and high blood pressure is a myth. Barbara O'Neill says both fats and cholesterol are vital for brain and heart health. Improper glucose metabolism, or metabolic syndrome, is a condition where excessive carbohydrate intake harms cellular function, resulting in high blood pressure. When we consume carbohydrates, our body breaks them down into glucose in the gastrointestinal tract, which then enters your bloodstream, and then to the liver. Finally, it enters the cells for energy metabolism but glucose only enters the cells in the presence of insulin. In the case of a high carbohydrate diet, our body cells stop responding to the insulin and thus glucose transportation into the cells stops. This results in high blood sugar levels, which can give rise to type two diabetes over time. But the worst part is that your blood pressure can reach dangerously high levels, leading to a heart attack or stroke. Barbara O'Neill says it can be prevented easily through lifestyle changes. She recommends excluding wheat and sugar from your diet, as both can trigger your blood pressure levels by influencing glucose levels and insulin production. Plus, she advises cooking your vegetables, like dark green leafy vegetables, with minimal water to retain the minerals. To sum it up, a lack of proper hydration and essential minerals can lead to high blood pressure. If you're not drinking enough water and eating a diet rich in calcium, 
magnesium, and potassium, your body will begin to struggle with fluid balance and blood pressure. Vitamin D deficiency, on the other hand, hinders the absorption of calcium and other minerals, further aggravating these issues. By making your diet healthy and mineral rich, excluding excess carbohydrates, and keeping your body hydrated while getting enough sunlight exposure, you can ensure that your blood pressure is controlled. We're lacking insulin, we're lacking magnesium, we're lacking vitamin D, the body says, oh no, we'll just force it in. What's that? Blood pressure. So can you see high blood pressure has many causes? Many causes. Wheat and sugar are a contributing factor to high blood pressure. But because of the hybridization of the wheat and the high intolerance of it, heart arrhythmia happens. Whenever the body takes something in that it has an allergy to, it changes the heartbeat. Salt is an important mineral, whether it comes from the far reaches of Himalayan rock mountains or the depths of the ocean. It is a vital mineral used to balance the proper minerals in the body. Each cell in our body requires salt to function properly. Whether you're a blood pressure patient or suffering from a heart condition, you can't turn down the importance of salt in your body. Our bodies naturally rely on salt for maintaining good bone density, proper blood circulation, and controlled blood sugar levels salt will get the blood pressure up and so will no salt because your cells need that little bit of salt. So my suggestion is to take the Celtic salt. However, salt can become a poison for you if it only contains sodium and chloride, especially if you have a blood pressure condition. Barbara O'Neill says the only salt that is composed of sodium and chloride is table salt, commonly used in cooking. She says it can be worse for your overall health besides just raising your blood pressure. Table salt is made by taking natural salt or crude oil flakes leftovers and heating them at 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Once this natural salt is heated up to this temperature, it begins to lose most of its approximately 80 vital elements, including magnesium, potassium, calcium, and others. In the end, table salt is only left with sodium and chloride. And the doctor's right, table salt can contribute to high blood pressure. Table salt only has two minerals. Barbara O'Neill says that when we consume sodium chloride, the amount of sodium in the blood increases. This leads to water retention from the cells to balance out sodium, causing high blood volume and high blood pressure. This extra pressure creates tightness around the blood vessel walls and heart, which can result in hypertension or high blood pressure Table salts have harmful chemicals, including additives like sodium silicoaluminate, fluoride, anti-caking agents, and aluminum derivatives. Additionally, many other salts contain highly processed sugar and toxic MSG, monosodium glutamate. But what's up with the color of this table salt? Did you know that naturally occurring salts don't usually have a white color? Table salts are made white through bleaching. That's exactly why Barbara O'Neill has discouraged the use of table salt, even if you aren't a high blood pressure patient. On the other hand, naturally occurring salts like Celtic salt, Himalayan salt, or other sea salts can be beneficial for your overall health. Barbara O'Neill recommends switching to Celtic sea salt for better mineral intake. Celtic sea salt contains up to 82 minerals, including magnesium, potassium, and trace amounts of iodine. Additionally, Celtic salt contains three types of magnesium, magnesium chloride, magnesium bromide, and magnesium sulfate, making it the best choice for cellular hydration, as magnesium is a water-hungry molecule and helps in the absorption of water into the cells. But the beauty of the Celtic salt is that it contain, contains three magnesiums. It contains magnesium bromide, it contains magnesium sulfate, and it contains magnesium, magnesium chloride. O'Neill says these minerals are vital for keeping the correct balance of electrolytes in the body. Moreover, Celtic salt has a perfect balance of sodium and potassium. Potassium prevents the harmful effects of sodium in the body by triggering the excretion of sodium through urine. This balance is important to maintain normal blood pressure levels. Dr. Lilangri, he's a French doctor, he's written a whole book on salt. 
He said, we have no problems with salt in France because he said in France, we have hand harvested sea salt. It's called Celtic salt. And Celtic salt has 82 minerals. He said, when I get someone with high blood pressure, I put them on Celtic salt because it brings the proper mineral balance in. If someone's used to no salt, they should start slowly. Exercise, specifically high intensity interval training, a HIIT, is another effective way to keep your blood pressure at normal levels. Such exercises help you with enhanced circulation, strengthening the heart and lowering your blood pressure levels. Barbara O'Neill says if you don't want to engage yourself in HIIT, you can go for alternatives like walking or using rebounders. Other than that, Barbara O'Neill has come up with the safest ways to treat your high blood pressure naturally. She recommends using hawthorn berry and cayenne pepper to thin your blood and aid in normal blood pressure levels. Hawthorn berry can naturally lower your blood pressure. As per one study, people with type 2 diabetes took hawthorn extract for four months and saw a difference in their blood pressure. You can also eat hawthorn fruit as a whole or have products like jam and drinks infused with hawthorn berries. The other herb is hawthorn berry. Hawthorn berry strengthens the heart in fact, if the blood pressure is low, it'll bring it up. If it's high, it'll bring it down. Cayenne pepper powder can also serve as a remarkable way to thin out your blood, dilate the blood vessels, and strengthen the arterial walls. Capsaicin, present in the cayenne pepper, is the main ingredient that reduces hypertension by relaxing the blood vessels, according to lab research. You can have one teaspoon of cayenne pepper powder mixed in a glass of water. Cayenne pepper also um, dilates the blood vessels. So with dilating the blood vessels, you get a more effective and efficient flow of blood through the whole body. Barbara O'Neill says normalizing blood pressure takes months, but keeping up with a consistent healthy routine, including exercise, sunlight exposure, hydration, use of natural salts, Natural remedies and healthy diets, including healthy fats, will pay off and help you in the long run.